Pope Francis, unlike uh, Pope Benedict and Pope John Paul II, seems to be taking uh, a one-sided, exclusionary approach to this. There's many aspects of the United Nations climate agenda that have nothing to do with climate. And I need the, the Pope should be made aware of that, the Vatican should be made aware of that. In terms of the science, he should have had an open meeting, at least one meeting where he invited in scientists who dissented from the United Nations climate view. There's hundreds of factors that influence our climate. Scientists from around the world, many of them former United Nations scientists, are now coming out skeptical and turning against the UN as more and more evidence comes in, i.e., you know, the lack of global warming that they predicted and other things like polar bear numbers and even ice is increasing and uh, none of the predictions, the dire predictions they've made so far are, are coming true. They're failing to come true. And this is one of the things uh, that the Pope is not hearing. He's only hearing one view. Many Catholics are very concerned uh, because of the, the, the agenda of the United Nations Treaty and uh, the Vatican are diametrically opposed on so many of these family and life issues, whether it be end of life issues or, uh, again, overpopulation, contraception, abortion. So um, when you look at this issue from a, uh, a Catholic perspective, you see a pope and people are scratching their heads saying, why is he doing this? Why is the Vatican getting involved in this beyond what previous popes had done? The Pope should be championing energy that transforms poor people's lives so they can deal with climate, be it man-made or naturally caused. In other words, the more development from fossil fuel, oil, coal, natural gas that poor people around the world have, the more they'll be able to withstand any potential bad weather, be it caused by mankind or be it caused by nature. So I think the Pope should be championing development in poverty eradication, not central planning of economic uh, systems in order for it to put the United Nations in charge, which they've openly stated, they use the phrase global governance, where it's going to be essentially a central uh, world authority regulating energy economies, regulating uh, everything down to population, uh, to uh, economic redistribution, climate, uh, I like to call them climate slush funds, but climate, uh, climate funds to redistribute money out to different foreign aid. It's a political bonanza for people involved in the United Nations bureaucracy, and the Pope should not use the word moral to describe a United Nations climate treaty, and even this whole global warming debate. Again, carbon-based energy development is the best friend for poor people and would give them the best chance at life. The United Nations is seeking emission reductions from countries around the world. And there's actually developing countries that are being asked to, to reduce their emissions. And some of them are getting heavily involved in trying to reduce it. The problem is the more you reduce emissions without having viable alternatives to, to carbon-based fuel, coal, oil, and natural gas, the less chance you're going to have economic development and getting, lifting the 1.3 billion people out of poverty. When you can't put in coal plants or put in carbon-based energy because of emission-limiting treaties and ideology, it's denying people a chance at running water, electricity, and keeping them at a subsistence lifestyle. We joke that putting solar panels made on, on huts made of dung isn't the solution to the dire poverty in the developing world. There's a great argument. It's called, it's called creation care, good stewards of the environment. And I think Catholic theology is very sound on that, and Catholics have no problem with that. But it's when you transfer from these basic principles to getting involved in a red-hot political debate with an organization like the United Nations and a treaty that's going to be a very political hot potato that's going to be partisan, that's going to be divided. I don't know that that's the best place for any, any pope or the Vatican to insert themselves.